Hey everybody, welcome to another prop tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this ashen chest from Sea of Thieves. We're going to start off by making a rectangular box out of cardboard. You're going to need to cut out three sets of identical cardboard rectangles. Here I used one of my first two wall pieces as a measurement guide to make the other two wall pieces. Make sure that the bottom piece is big enough to fit all four wall pieces. Once you have all your pieces cut out, we're going to use hot glue to attach them together. Be patient with this step and make sure to line up all your pieces properly. If you find that one of your pieces isn't the right size, you can trim it down or make a new one. When you're done making your box, cut out another rectangle of cardboard and curve it to the shape of the lid. Next, measure and cut out some angled pieces and glue them onto the side of the lid. After that, trim down all the edges. Now I'm just cutting out craft foam pieces for each of the sides. Once you have all your pieces of craft foam, start gluing them onto the chest. When your chest is covered in craft foam, we're going to use a soldering iron to create the grooves in between the boards. Next, use a hobby knife to create all the lines in the foam, making it look like wood. After that, we're going to use a heat gun to go over the whole chest. This is going to open up all the lines we made with the hobby knife, making it look more like wood. Make sure not to do this too long in one area, or it might melt the hot glue underneath the craft foam. Next, cut out a long piece of craft foam to glue on the edge of the chest. Be sure to cut the piece wide enough so you can fold it over the side of the chest. Do this around the lid of the chest and on the bottom. When you're finished with that step, it should look something like this. I also cut out handles and a lock for the chest. For the bottom, glue on a piece bigger than you need and trim off the excess. When you're done with that, coat the whole chest in Mod Podge. This is going to seal it in and make it look smoother all over. It's also going to make it easier to paint on. When the Mod Podge is dry, paint on a brownish gray color. You're probably going to need more than one coat for this. Next, paint on a lighter brown color. Don't go too heavy with this and make sure to paint parallel with the lines. This is going to give the lines and grooves more depth. Next, paint small red lines over the whole chest. After that, go over the center of those lines with orange paint. Do the same thing with yellow and you'll be left with these fiery cracks in the chest. Next, paint the whole frame black. Next, use a metallic purple color and lightly paint that over the whole frame. I used a toothpick to paint on the lock and the bolts. 
Next, trace out the symbols on the front. I used a white gel pen for that. Paint them the same way you painted the fiery details. Finally, we're left with this awesome ashen chest from Sea of Thieves. Thanks for watching. I hope you made your own or this inspired you to make something else. I'll see you later.